Welcome to the video editing tutorial with yours truly, Kristen Spencer, the lead writer and Big Boss Lady at Literary Symmetry. So as you can see, I am in iMovie on my iMac. I've got some um, slides that I prepared in Canva and then I downloaded them as a zipped file of PNGs just because it's way easier than having like a PDF or a slideshow to split up and you've got my particularly awkward face here. So let's dive into exactly what I'm doing. So you can see that I've already made a um, video that I grabbed from Canva and I made that and you can see it's right here in downloads. I also found a royalty free um, piece of music that I can use for commercial products because this is a course that I'm selling. So I wanna make sure I have commercial rights to do that. So this is what we have so far. You've seen it, uh, no doubt, <laughs> many times as we're going through this. Lesson, we are going to go over the five Gs of... So how did I get this there? Um, I already went and cropped. I always give myself like five seconds of nothing once I start recording because otherwise I get cut off. And so I already trimmed that here. I've added this in here. And so I'm going to show you what it looks like on the next one. And if you can't already tell, I love alliteration. So these five Gs are grab, glue, give, get, and grow. Let's get into the details. There are consistent... You can see here that I cut out... I think I was saying the word so. That's one of the filler words that I still have a little hard time getting rid of. If you have filler words in, my recommendation is just edit them out. If you can't edit them out because your face then makes this weird transition, then that's okay. Just leave them in. It's better than people being like, what? They just cut out a huge chunk there. So let's... Let's figure out how, where this next slide is going. And it is actually, what you can do is go in here and it does them in order of number. So we know we've used this one already. The next one is going to be when I f first start explaining grab. Of taking your potential clients through a specific mental journey that helps you prove to them that you are the one they need help from. And they are the G. So let's start with grab. All right, so I'm gonna put grab in right here. And the way that I do that is I'm just simply going to, I'm gonna move this down a little bit. Uh, let me actually just sh shrink this a tiny bit so it fits on the screen for you. Uh, so you can see here's grab. I'm gonna drag it and just put it right there where I left my marker. And I'm going to, I don't know why it automatically does this, uh, it does the Ken Burns. I do not want Ken Burns. That's super distracting <laughs> with slides like this. So you can see here. You want to grab their attention. We do this. Which is sad because look, I'm actually grabbing the air here, but that's, that's the way it goes, folks. We do this by creating a headline that addresses their pain or introduces the pleasure that they could get from your solution. And this is a common way to approach copy. Either you're going to go for the pain that they're in or the pleasure they could experience if they had your solution. You will know whether pain or pleasure fits your brand based on the kinds of talking points that you go over all the time. I'm gonna, so in, in this particular, ugh. In this particular software, which is iMovie, you push command or con, uh, you push command B in order to splice up these clips. I'm just going to delete that. Talking points that you go over all the time. I work with clients who have both of these different types of messaging. And I will say that if pain matches your brand, it's easier to get people That's true. to buy if you're using their pain points. But if you're like, we're super positive, we wouldn't talk about the pain, then it would damage your brand more than it would do it good to talk about pain. So you want to come from the pleasure angle. All right. And then you can see there's a pause here. So a lot of people are like, make a loud noise when you make a mistake. Don't do that. You're going to hurt your voice. And your voice is a very important tool when you're making these videos. Uh, usually I lose my voice at the end of the kind of recording sessions that I've been doing the last two days. I split it up into uh, two two-hour chunks to record these. You can tell because my clothes switch and my glasses and my hair halfway through uh, the course. So 
just do, please don't make a loud noise or any of that stuff. All you have to do is be quiet and look, you'll see it. You'll see it. And I don't know why I paused there, but. You write something out It's okay, it was short. Or true. Or and you might be thinking, Kristen, oh, are you really going to go through this whole video and do this? And the answer is yes, I'm going to because I'm placing slides. Normally, uh, I don't need to go this detailed into one of my videos where I'm editing, but because I was using sort of a more detailed script and because I'm adding in slides, I'm going to watch all 1956 minutes of this, but I'm going to make sure that I'm editing as I go along so I don't need to go back and do it at the end. So that's all you need to do. Drop the slides in, edit the different parts out. When you make a mistake, get quiet so you can see that maybe there's a mistake. Let me see if I can find one where this, I don't know, maybe not. I actually don't think I made a lot of mistakes in this one because I was feeling pretty fresh. It was the first recording of the day. Um, but if there's like, like from here to here is quiet, that means that I made a mistake and I stopped and I collected my thoughts. So I want you to go through and just do your best. Uh, I'm including a video also for CapCut, which... I think it's like you can buy a license, a lifetime license for like $10 or something. It's just so you can store stuff in their cloud because that's how they edit it. To me, that seems really fair. Um, but you're just going to do that. And then once I finish, I'm actually going to share, which you cannot see in the screen because I didn't make it big enough. Uh, but you're going to share and save it. And then I put it on Vimeo. Vimeo is a place where you can restrict whether or not people can see your videos since it's for a paid course. Uh, I could also probably upload it straight to Thinkific, but um, if you do not have Thinkific, if you do not want to pay for Vimeo, you can also use YouTube Unlisted. That's a great tool, especially when you're starting out, and you can even host your course on your site by having uh, a Stripe payment area that links to a, a, a website that's not SEO'd very well on purpose so that people don't accidentally find your course and then they can go there. I've done that. I did that for years. I, I'm only graduating a little bit now because I have some more expensive courses and people are like, please get a platform. I was like, I hear what you're saying. Um, so until people are like, hey, we're paying this much. We want this. Then I don't think you need to necessarily do something super fancy. Of course, I've rested on my face being weird again. I don't know. That's just a theme. Um, but as you can see, it's not that hard. It is not hard. It just takes a little bit of time when you're going through. And I did go through and make the slides earlier this morning. And you can see that there are 16. I just used a template. You use whatever you need to. And it doesn't have to be as fancy looking as mine. Uh, if you could see some of the first few courses I did, they were either needlessly complicated and took me forever, or they were maybe too simple. And, and now I've seemed to find that happy medium for myself. But the whole point is you can do this. You have amazing information in your brain that other people need. And this is going to help build your brand now that you know the kinds of communications that people need to hear in order to want to work with you. So if you have any uh, questions, please feel free to leave them under the uh, three day to debut section of the course, the bonus section there where you can put in text and either me or someone on my team will get in touch with you as soon as we can. Thanks for watching. Look at that Kristen go. And uh, you are amazing. I believe in you and your business story matters.